Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today we will draw Himeno from Chainsaw Man. As you might know, I mostly do drawings like dudes like this one right here, which I did from my Instagram channel only. But I also drew the Chainsaw Man in a Western comic book style, which was so much fun. So I decided to do some more characters from this TV show, which I really like. Meaning I already drew Makima and Power. Some very cool characters from this show. Let me know if you have watched The Chainsaw Man as well. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's the same name I, like here, Dr. Rocker Art. Link it, the link is down in the description. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel should you be new. And also turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. But now, let's show, draw another character from this cool TV show. Himeno. Let's draw! Okay, guys. Himoni is a very cool character. I, I really liked her in the show and I want to draw her in a very fitting way, which is smoking and drinking. This is the upper body. Trying to get the hips done already. I want, I want to draw her in kind of a sexy way, coming towards us. Bit, I want to capture a bit uh, like from the scene where where she and the Chainsaw Man are almost hooked up after the drinking night with their buddies. So what we need to do is we need to give her a drink. That's the first thing we need to do. Which means in this case it was a can of beer. It needs to be somewhere here. Um, when you when you want to draw someone holding something, the best way to do is to know where about uh, everything should be, and then draw in the thing. In this case, the beer can she holds first. This will be the beer can. It could be a bit bigger. And now we will draw in the fingers so they can support the beacon. Let's see. I'm always struggling a bit with when drawing female characters. Uh, I used to draw a lot of female characters when I was just a freelancing artist and uh, tried to survive as, as a fine artist. Um, and I also did a lot of studies and drawings, nude drawings and stuff like that, which is very important, but that was quite a while ago. And over the last years, I really focused on the male anatomy, superheroes and stuff like that. So I'm struggling a bit with these female forms, but I think I will manage. Okay, so there's already the beer can. Might even, I might even draw it bigger later. But first, let's focus on the other stuff. Is there enough? Yeah, I guess that's enough attention. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Then, this, the other arm will be right here and I want her to have a cigarette in her mouth which means I need to find where the mouth is. So let's draw the face. I need to take a reference. She has a very small chin. <clears throat> Just like that. Let me know if you like to draw anime and manga characters. I would be very curious because I guess most of you guys are here about comic book stuff. And don't get worried if I draw an anime in between, I will, I will stick to comics as well. So here are the eyes, nose, mouth should be about here, which means I want her to have a cigarette in her mouth about this size. 
and now I can draw in the fingers because the hand which is holding the, the cigarette needs to be here so if I would just draw the arm first I might run, run into some trouble um, so you know what I will zoom in a little bit this way you can see better how I draw the fingers I'm using my 2B pencil for, for this drawing. Okay, that's... is this good enough? I think we will still be able to recognize this as a cigarette. I can make it longer if I have to. And yeah, those are the two fingers holding the cigarette. I have to make sure that they are not too big, but I guess they work. And yeah, they are attached to a hand, of course. And the rest of the hand, which means the two fingers, which will be able to be seen, I will draw them like this. Sometimes, uh, to clean up stuff, I still use an H pencil. Might do that later for some details. But most, most of the time, I'm sticking to my 2B pencil at the moment. But I did a very, very good video, I dare say, about... It's always fun when you call your own videos very good, but I think I put in everything you need to know about pencils in my... I think it's even called everything you need to know about pencils video. So check it out, it's here on my channel. Just type in the words. Okay, is this working? I guess it's working. Because this can be a little bit foreshortened, the upper arm. And what's very important now is to define where the breast is. And I want her to have bigger breasts because it's nice to look at. And this arm, uh, this arm will push the breasts away a little bit, which means they are here. Something around these lines. And the second one will be here, of course, also pushed in this direction. <clears throat> I need to concentrate when drawing breasts. They are very important. Okay. Just like that. Here's the hip. I always like to make sure that you can see where the hip is when drawing a girl very very important landmark and now I will zoom out a bit again when zoomed out you might be able to see that this breast is a little bit too small compared to this one so we need to go a little bit bigger with this one just a bit because they need to fit and also the head since it's an anime character the head needs to be a bit bigger but not much and my excuse as well is that I'm still mixing those styles so there's it's not just anime anime but it's also Western comic book style in there now I'm cleaning up uh, a bit get rid of the definitely not needed or wrong lines like this one just to make sure how everything looks and then I will have to clean up the whole thing a bit more but I just want to check now and you should do that as well if you're drawing I want to check uh, if I'm if I made some major mistakes which need to be fixed right away because when there are too many lines, help lines, 
you will not be able to spot all these mistakes. Okay, but I guess this, this will work. So I will use my knitted eraser in a second and clean everything up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see I cleaned everything up a little bit and I lightened down the, the lines for, for a little. Uh, and now I, I will actually use my H pencil for some details because this drawing is a bit small. So it's easier to, to get some clean lines for these details. Um, which means, again, we need to draw in the face. And in this case there's just one eye visible because the other one is concealed with an eye patch. But still I want to be I want to make sure that that I draw the eyes right. So I will still draw in two eyes. And you should do that as well, even if you don't see it. It's the same with the anatomy. I drew in everything and she will get close. So it's still important to to know to define where everything is. Because if you just put in the eye patch, you might put it like this and there should actually be the eye and that's absolutely not looking good. So, here we go. There should be the eye. I will not draw the whole line here. And st we're still in the in the construction phase, which means I'm not pressing too hard. There should be the nose somewhere here. We have the nose line. I hope you can see it in the video. And there's the cigarette in the mouth. Now I can see that the chin is a little bit too big, which means we need to we need to fix that. There are the fingers. I'm not sure if I'm too happy with the fingers, but I will check them out again later. And we need to finish or oh, end this the chin here. And she has a light bump. Like this. I want to stay true to the character as much as possible and still kinda try to also do it in a western comic book style but a lot of that will will be done with the hatching this will make a big difference so there's the neck and now we can already draw in the eye patch it's a really big one like that and it goes over here and here's the end of the head so I can see properly where it goes and where it needs to be and the rest will be concealed by, by the hair. I will still draw in one ear. Not sure if this will be seen or concealed by the hair later on but I, will, I want to know where they are. And now we need to draw in a lot of hair. And she has kind of short hair. And it should be here. Should go out from this. I don't know the word for this one. Sorry. It's Scheitel in Deutsch. So for all you German speaking guys, that's the Scheitel. Okay, the hair is like this. Maybe I will I will do some some hair uh, like that because she just had a rough night and she uh, she just got up and took another beer. She's she's a poor soul actually. And then there's a big chunk of hair and there's a big chunk of hair. Actually, it's trunk of hair, right? I don't know. You know what I mean. Hair should be like that. And I guess not more 
down below than that. So, almost done with the hair. It's very easy. It would be nice if I would uh, see some redraws of this one. And if you would tag me on Instagram, I will most likely see it. And uh, even if you send it to me, it might be that I will not get it if you send it to me because I get so many messages there. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's going crazy, which is great, you know. It's it's really there are so many people who really love my stuff on Instagram. But it's getting so big that it's really hard for me to keep track and to to answer all all my messages and stuff like that. I try, I really do. I try again and again, but there are so many, so please don't be mad if I'm not able to to respond or not able to respond quickly, but it's really a lot of messages. Okay, we will, she is looking at us, so there should be I, and for, for details like this, the H pencil is really great, you can sharpen it, you can also use a a 2B for, for those, but if you're using a mechanical pencil, uh, it's hard to, to do the really, really fine details. Okay, now we have drawn in the head and we have the hands and what we will do next is the closing. This is the reference I use, so you can see she doesn't wear a lot, but still some closing on there and that's what we will draw now. I will use my 2B pencil again and yeah, let's just go ahead and draw in the shirt. The shirt should be like like here. Let me just let me just try this out. About here and I think it would be nice if this one would go over here. You know? And the other... What are those called? Called? I don't know. It's still early here. In Austria. <clears throat> so, and of course we need to do a lot of folds. I will do an extra one here. Uh, the shirt ends about here. And her panties are like this. Just normal panties. Okay. And yeah, the shirt needs to have a lot of extra folds which are very important, but easy to, to draw. It's not as hard as you might think. Um, let's see. I would say something like that. That would work. There will be some folds like these, like on this side. And the light comes from this direction, which means there's kind of a shadow down there. So this area will be very bright. And I will do some folds. Should I do some folds like this? I have to think a bit about the folds, but I guess I will do folds like this right there. You can go pretty crazy with folds. A lot of things work pretty nicely. You could also go ahead and do folds like this. I might even do those as well. But of course, it needs to be either this way or that way. So let's just try out if they work together as well for, for a bit at least. This could be working. Well, we'll see. Okay, uh, that's actually all the closing, am I right? More, it's not more than that. And there's the hip, we can define this a little bit more. 
this area so we can see the twist it's twisted in this direction because she's walking towards us and yeah I guess those are a bit too much of a granny penny we don't need that let's go with those I love those erasers you can you can fix things in no time and I guess that's all we need to know uh, we, we need to do uh, what I want to do is to make the can a bit bigger makes the character a bit smaller well actually let's make it even bigger than that somewhere around these lines okay and I will also get rid of the wrong lines right there now she has a nice big can of, of beer and of course we need some smoke I will go very thin with the smoke because I don't want to conceal too much of her pretty face but I guess that's working now I will use the knitted eraser and erase everything a little bit lighten it a lot and once I've done that I will go straight in with the line weight so see you in a second okay here we go I'm using my 2b pencil to do the line weight and you can see if you hold it in the right angle it's working brilliantly the lines on the upside will be overall a bit thinner and the lines from the below a bit thicker and overall the line is getting thicker away from the light source and I always also try to uh, to not take too much time with these because I want to capture the the energy and the power with these lines I have to be a bit careful a bit more careful uh, when I'm drawing females because first of all I don't want the lines to get too thick <clears throat> sorry and second of all I'm not as confident as confident as I, when I would draw a male character so I have to be a bit more careful you can break them up every now and then always working and always do the line first that uh, uh, where another line will entail in which means in this case I will do the line of of the breast so this line can end up in this one this need these need to be broken up because there are some folds but first I will draw this area um, I don't have my glove on yet uh, be careful with the smudging I always get asked how are you able to produce such clean drawings first of all I don't do I don't draw like this when I, when I do a line I make a line I don't go like this I do it like this so that makes a powerful line and the other thing is you have to keep in mind not to not to smudge too much and in this case once when you're right-handed start on the upper left corner and work your way through the, down there and of course a glove like this one also helps or a sheet of paper or a paper towel uh, is also very very nice uh, to prevent smudging and that's a big part of producing a clean drawing the smudging and of course the paper you're using some paper will smudge way more than others but yeah you have to you have to use what you what you get and I can show you real quick I've done this Deadpool drawing on the cheapest piece of paper you can find it's and it didn't smudge you can see it's it's not heavily smudged and that's there's no cheaper paper than that and it's almost all is done with the with the 2b pencil I did this for my Instagram account as well so 
don't find excuses. It's possible to draw on everything and also to produce a clean drawing, even if you don't have the good stuff. So I guess what I'm saying is, mostly it depends on what, what you do and how careful you are when drawing with the smudging. Because, as you just saw, I was using the 2B pencil and it's a pretty soft pencil, so... <clears throat> if you're heavy handed, handed, you can draw way more with, with an H pencil or a 2H even, like David Finch does. Uh, this will even smudge less. You have to be less careful than when using a pencil like this 2B. But on the other hand, you need to push a bit harder to get the line and it depends if you draw a lot, like I do. It's nice not having to not having to push so hard all the time because your hand will hurt after a while. That's just the way it is. If you draw a lot, if you draw for hours and you have to push very hard because you have to push hard to get a decent line of a really hard pencil then it might get hurtful quite a bit if you only drew a bit anyway not much oh damn it i wanted to do the smoke there i have to do the smoke first uh, if you're not drawing much at all then you can of course easily use a harder pencil to prevent smudging. And I don't want to talk about pencils all the time because I have my all you need to know about pencils video but I really prefer the swift movement I can get out of out of my 2B pencil so not just because it doesn't hurt as much. Because this can get hurtful as well, trust me. If you draw enough, in my case, if I do a lot of tattoos and then draw a lot, sometimes my hand hurts. She looks a bit over the weather, under the weather, <laughs> over the weather, oh my. Um, when I have to, <clears throat> sorry, when I have to get more of the lead out, I don't just do this because that's too much for me, this breaks, it's too long. What I do is I, I use my finger and I put it out a little and push it back at the same time and that's the perfect amount for my nice, uh, for my best drawing experience. Because after all, sometimes even with the with the soft pencils, you will have to push harder to get a decent line out of it. And you can see, um, I'm doing all the details uh, with the 2B pencil because I know where everything needs to be now. And so I can, I can use this one to have a dark line right away. And you just have to turn the pencil around. That's why it's important to hold the pencil right. If you hold it like this, you would have to do it like this. But I can, I can do it all the time. And if you have the right angle, you can take a look. You can do a really thin line as well. You see? No problem at all. That's just a 2B pencil. Okay, so you know what? I will finish these lines now and let the camera rest for a second because it says it's getting hot. Maybe it's because the motive, because she's a hot girl. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, I will turn off the camera for a second, 
finish the, the last outlines and see you in a second. Okay, so here's the line weight. Now I will I also put on this glove. Now I will use my H pencil and because it's very sharp still, I will use an extra piece of paper to do this and now I have a bit of a an edge which I can use to do the strong blacks. <clears throat> the light is coming from this direction. I will not do a lot of strong blacks, but still a bit. And the reason I do those with my H pencil and not with the 2B, uh, you can do them with the 2B pencil, but it's, uh, there's easily a lot of smudging when you do big areas with a, with a soft pencil. It's totally doable, but if you have the chance, why not use the H pencil? And also, I think uh, it's it looks very nice to have to have these done with with an H pencil because the surface is very very smooth when you use those. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a cold, but I'm not used to talk so much at the moment, I guess, I don't know. I guess the kids are not as bad as they usually are. They behave a bit more at the moment because they are in school and kindergarten and it's just lovely people. I have more time now a bit because I love my kids and of course, I love Lawrence. You know Lawrence, he's two years old, two and a half years. But to have all of the kids in a kindergarten and in school is very nice as well. Because there's times like these where I can just film a video before I have to do my tattoos. <clears throat> I filmed this video and Nobody is screaming in the background. Nobody is coming in and says, Hey, Daddy, I need this and that. And you know what I mean. But at the same time, I miss them. I'm looking forward when they come back. But I will be done with this video then, and then I can spend some time with them before I have to do the two. So, all is good. All is good at Rockers. I hope all is good at your places as well. I really care for you guys. I hope you have a great time. I hope you draw a lot. Find time to draw a lot. That's so important. And have fun drawing. I really wanted to... <coughs> I'm so sorry guys. I really wanted to draw this character. So I just did. I hope, I hope, of course, it does well on YouTube. I don't know, because YouTube is very specific and if you do stuff like, in my case, superheroes, and you want to, we want the video to go well, then it should be superheroes, but I guess this could, could have some uh, interested viewers as well. And if not, then that's how it is. So thank you for watching if you're here and even even more thank you for watching if you're still here from the beginning that's that means a lot. Watch time is very important for a YouTuber. So if you want to support a YouTuber make sure to watch his videos, the whole videos. If you go in in a video and you just watch uh, some portions and then you, uh, you just fast forward to the next one. It's very bad actually for, for the channel. Because then YouTube thinks, the, the algorithm says, um, looks like your video is too boring. People don't watch it totally. And then they will not recommend the video to other viewers, which is bad, of course. I'm sorry guys, the camera went out again for some reason. 
what I was telling you is these strong blacks, I will do more strong blacks on this one, not as many as on this drawing because this is a bright fabric, but this is like a black or a very dark, uh, dark one, so I will do more strong blacks, but I will also do a lot of hatching lines, so I will not do a lot very uh, a lot of big black areas yeah and I'm sorry for the camera guys for some reason she shuts the camera shuts off just like that it wasn't even uh, too warm or something like that like before when I took the break I don't know <laughs> that's what I like on Instagram I can just draw take a picture and yeah that's it and as important as I think it is to see an artist draw and you can take a lot of it but I guess the best way to do a redraw of something is when you just check out the reference like you can find it on Instagram of course you can also do a screenshot when you're watching a YouTube video but overall, I guess, uh, the tutorials on Instagram might even be way better, to be totally honest. And I encourage you to check out my, my Instagram tutorials. I have a lot. A lot of basic stuff, but also um, I try to to take in between steps photos from all the drawings I do so you can redraw all of all of the big drawings as well fairly easy give it a try because it's so easy when you when you just have to follow along the step you don't have to concentrate on strong blacks or on line weight you just have first you just have to concentrate on the first step which is the base drawing when you're done with that when you think it looks about the same as I did it you move on to the next step which is line weight usually and then the strong blacks and this way you can produce a really cool drawing without having to uh, to know all the stuff because nobody does that in the beginning you can't just know everything and with drawing the thing is you have to you have to practice and practice and practice so that's a great way to to do that so check it out dr rocker art on instagram link in description Okay, I don't want to do too many strong blacks there. There should be a shadow from this small thingy here. And other than that, there should be a shadow from the shirt. There it's a little bit more away from, from the belly, so there's a bigger shadow. There it's almost on the belly. I will not do much of a shadow. There it goes away again. And also here. Okay. The pennies are very light. So I guess those are about all the strong blacks we need. What I will do though is I will do some strong blacks on the can. The light is coming from this direction. so. Let's do some metal effects. You don't have to do them exactly as I do. Just a similar pattern is fine enough. <coughs> and here some, some strong ones. You can just follow along. You will see. This looks pretty cool. Don't you think? It's nice, right? Looks very refreshing. And again, the freaking camera shut off. I'm sorry about that. 
but you can see everything is where it belongs. I will even do, although this is metal, I will even do some some shadow from the fingers. Okay. You can see it's darker on this side and brighter on this one because the light is mostly coming from this direction and also here. Some reflections. Okay, and the strong blacks are done. And you could leave it like that. Uh, it's a perfectly nice uh, um, anime drawing, manga drawing, but I want to give it some extra juice with my uh, with my hatching lines. And I will start off, I'm using my 2B pencil again, I will start off here and make sure that the roundness of the breast is to be seen. But there is the fold coming in, so be careful with these. And uh, you can hatch it like I do, you can also uh, hatch it less, just a little. Totally up to you, but I like to do some hatching lines because I just love them. And especially on on this fabric because it's very um, it's very dark. I will do quite some hatching lines, especially on this area because this side is a bit darker than this one because the light is coming from this direction. So there can be a lot of hatching lines and you can see with the pencil just increase the pressure and you can do some really nice hatchings. Some cross, ha cross hatchings every now and then. The great thing when you work with pencils you can also use um, you can use a an eraser like this one to get rid of some of some lines you don't like if you did too much or too many somewhere. That's very cool. So, like I said, you, you might be able to see the small helpline I left here. Like I said earlier, this area will be brighter. So from here on out, I will do some extra darker spots, which means more hatching lines here. And you, you can see I go crazy with those lines, but it still works. And I think it's a very unique look, unique look. I even got offered a job as a manga artist because of, of this unique look. But I want to focus on Instagram this year mostly and also of course on my YouTube channel So I had to respectfully decline But I think it's a very good sign That I got an offer like that Very cool. I Also get a lot of offers for doing books But same here. I want to first of all I want to get bigger on these social medias because then then I can have more impact when doing a book and I want to do my own book anyway. You've already seen this one I guess, that's Demon Samurai, it's not the finished, uh, the, it's not, uh, there will be some changes for the, for the costume, but that's a book I will work on and I have some pretty cool ideas, I've already written some pages and that's what I will do. So no worries, I will not just draw pinups, I will also draw pages. And I will do some pages uh, when I'm... F when you see this I might have done some pages again already because this won't be on YouTube tomorrow but maybe next week or something anyway um, 
I already I already confirmed some some projects, but rather small ones, because like I said, I want to I want to focus on the art and on my so social media. But there will be some pages I will draw. And again, the camera shut off. I'm so sorry, guys. Fortunately. I look up all the time, so this won't, so it won't be out too much. It's really, it's actually, I'm sorry for saying it like that, but it's very shitty. That's such a shitty way to go. The camera just turns itself off. There's no, no sound, nothing, nothing. You can only see it when you look up. So I'm sorry, Sony, but don't use Sony cameras. I have too many bad, bad things about those to say. I will try out more with my, with my iPhone in the future, I guess. It has such good quality. <clears throat> anyway, not here to complain. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I will I will leave this now as it is and we'll move on to the uh, to the other parts for the hatching which means we will do some hatching here and I'm I might go back later and and uh, hatch a bit more but first I want to see how dark the rest of the of the drawing will get You can see those cross hatchings really make a big difference. Sometimes I overdo them, but just one way to find out what's too much. Just do it. Okay, now I want to make sure that this area looks good. Like I said here, this area is supposed to be a bit darker so I can hatch here a little bit more without having uh, without fearing that it's too much too soon. There's the middle of the body. There would be the belly button, which means there could be an invisible line which we can also Use a bit. You could go ahead and leave this totally unhatched, by the way. Totally works. But I like it if it's hatched. But it's hard. It's a bit hard. Way harder to... to... do hatchings on a male superhero. Because... they look cool if you hatch them, and even if you overhatch them, they are not e as easily overhatched as as a female character, for sure. But if done right, I think it looks pretty cool. I can show you here. I really love this one. Look how much hatching there is, <clears throat> although it's a female. And I think it turned out great. So. It's definitely possible to hatch a lot, even on female characters, and still it looks cool. So, in this manner, let's go on and hatch this baby. Mm -hmm. The pennies can be a bit darker, so I will do some extra hatching lines here. Let's hope they are not too much. Might be. I don't love the look here, but I will keep it for now and let's see how it how it looks later. Um, now here, there could be a shadow till here. Let's just try it out. What I like to do with these 
hatching lines, which are just just thin lines. Uh, of course, I go, I, I increase the the space between the lines towards the light source. And now you could go ahead. It's not really necessary, but I want to show you. You could go ahead and erase this one so you have a very even line. And of course the camera was off again, I don't know. I, I was in the menu of the camera and in the menu it says never to turn off, never ever. I put it on this. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know the words. Anywho, I want to go a bit darker here on the bottom of the drawing. So I will do my kind of becoming my trademark hatching lines. Those big ones, I love them. I call them. I dips dips on these hatching lines. Those very rough ones. Okay, um, should we do some more? I guess I should do some here because there might be a small shadow, but I don't want to blacken it out. I want to hatch it like this. And this is more or less the core shadow. And now I add a cast shadow from here, but also just with hatching lines. You can see that this works. Pretty nicely. And this will leave open this tie gap, I guess it's called a tie gap. And here we can also do a small um, a small core shadow with just hatching lines. I will start up there and try to work my brain around getting smaller towards the bottom just so I have to think more. It's always Because usually I would start uh, below and increase the hatching line, which is way easier for me. So sometimes it's good to challenge yourself. Do that as well. We don't do that enough anymore. Enough anymore. That is also a reason why I wanted to do this channel in English because it's way harder to <clears throat> to uh, talk and draw in a language that's not yours of course would be way easier if I would do it in German but I thought for my YouTube hobby I want to get the most out of it so I have to cool down the camera again and then we will hatch the rest Okay, I guess it will work again now. And now I want to try to do some extra hatchings here. You know what? I want to try those zigzag ones. I never dared to do those. Let's see if they look any good. I don't think so. I think I didn't do them good enough. Let's just stick to my Let's just stick to my normal lines, those are better. I guess I need to practice those zigzag lines or maybe it wasn't just the right, the right place to put them. Let's just stick to those. And now I want to make this even smaller. Is this working? I'll just leave it for now. I guess it works. Good enough. Okay. Make sure to use the edge of the pencil. Not just the whole flat side, but the edge. So you have more control and can do smaller hatchings. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. I want to do some nice hatching lines here. 
I want to make sure that she's not appearing too muscular, but still there, there are some muscles allowed to be seen. After all, she's not She-Hulk. Which wasn't the best TV show actually. Did you guys enjoy it? I, I didn't even watch it completely. It was cool in the beginning, but I lost my interest for some reason. I don't even know why. Maybe it was too girly for my taste. I don't know. But still, it's a very cool character. I like She-Hulk and I think the actress is very cool. V very good choice. Okay. And let me know down in the comments if you like to watch me draw a character like this, like an anime character. I can do more, I can also do less. If you don't like it here on YouTube, just let me know. It's easy on Instagram because I post something on Instagram every day, which means if somebody doesn't like something, it's not a problem. There's the next post the next day. But with YouTube, those videos are a lot of work, a lot of work. You have to edit the whole thing, you have to make sure everything works. And yeah, if there are a lot of people who do not like what you do on a particular video, then that's a bummer because you have put so much time and effort in it already. So like I said earlier, I do this as a hobby, but still, of course, I want to make you guys happy and I want the videos to be seen because they are a lot of work. <clears throat> that might have been a bit too much. I don't know. You can see I'm all also still trying to work things out here. Can be there can be some bigger hatching lines here. There's a muscle right there. And I just realized it might be possible because I was talking about... Okay, I think I might have to throw this freaking camera out. This camera was like eight or nine hundred bucks, you know? And it turns itself off all the time. It's okay when you do a video like I very often do with very small sequences <clears throat> where I just film a small sequence <clears throat> and then and then uh, put it together with the editing but for filming longer this is just such a terrible 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 tool but so expensive that's a shame We are getting there, people. We are definitely getting there. Let's see, we need to... We need to define the neck a little. not doing too many lines there because otherwise it looks the, the character will look too old I don't want that we 
because hatching lines can easily <clears throat> can easily look a little bit like folds or wrinkles. So be careful on female characters with those. And we are almost done with this lovely lady. In case you're wondering, the camera shut, shut off again because the battery was done. <laughs> it's crazy. That's a crazy camera day, really. Be careful with hatching lines on the, in the face. I'm still doing some because I want it to fit to the rest of the drawing. But I will not go too nuts with those. Otherwise, it doesn't look good. Just some core shadows right there. I guess this is working. Don't want her to look like she's got a beard. And I will do a lot of lines on the hair now. The light is hitting us here, so I will I will do some some of these, you know, where where imagine a line here, like a reflection. This was not the best idea. It's better to go in one direction only, which means from thick to thin. I'll do the same thing here. A bit thicker and then go thin. That's a nice look, I think. I hope it works. Haven't drawn hair like this for a long time. I also have a, a nice tutorial on how to draw hair. Didn't get as much love as I thought it should, should have because I really put in so much information there, I guess. I guess a lot of you guys would benefit a lot from it, so make sure to check that out as well. Some extra thingy like this. Mm -hmm. And I guess we are about done. Let me see. I want to do some small hatching lines here on, on the patch for the eye. This looks cool. Even some shadow here. Shadow the whole thing out a little bit with very thin lines. Looks pretty cool. Okay. I will also do some hatching lines here on the hand, but also not too many. Don't want to overdo it. It's easier than you think to overdo a thing like that. Uh, but here we need some lines here to make sure that uh, this one is seen properly. It's nice. So, how do you like this little girl? Let me know down in the comments what you think. I always read and answer the comments here on YouTube. So, if you have a question, just shoot. But make sure to check it out later again, please. Very often I answer the question and then I got it asked the next time I did a video from the same guy and the next time and I don't want to answer every question three times make sure to come back to my channel this looks like a beard I have to get rid of it make sure to come back a few days after you have uh, after you have asked something and you will have an answer But it takes some time, of course. But I will be there and answer it for you. And here we go, people. Himino in kind of a comic book style. I hope you like it. 
Fitting to my other female characters from Chainsaw Man. That's a cool team. Really lovely characters. Let me know which one you like best. But that's it already for today's video. I hope you had fun watching. If so, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos and tutorials. And also, of course, like I told you earlier, check out my Instagram account. Link down in the description. It's also Dr. Rocker Art. You will have a ton of drawings you will not have seen here on my YouTube channel. So check that out as well. And now I want you to go and watch this video. That's where I show you how to use strong blacks in comic book drawings. I really put a lot of effort on this one. So make sure to check it out. You will learn a ton. So see you there my friends. Have a great time. Don't forget to draw every day. And yeah, thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.